Hey everyone, I am back. Here I picked up another tat. I have one just like this that I picked up years ago. I still have that one. This is one of my very earliest industrials. And I went with Dan Spiffy Newman on a Fanimation trip and we stopped on the way back to, I think, a Craigslist uh, marketplace, Craigslist or a marketplace ad. And we got the relights and uh, I picked out a tat. There was a dozen industrials, a lot of Dayton leading edges, you know, for sale. And I picked picked this one out. This is, this is a good fan. And uh, these are good fans, actually. These have been labeled Can Arm. Even Emerson branded these. But like the old Can Arm Pleasant Air, I know these were labeled for that. This uses the same blades as my uh, beveled UFO tat upstairs in the in the loft. So, but anyways, I got this one off of uh, Marketplace locally, and uh, the guy selling it said that uh, it didn't work too well, that it wasn't very fast. He said it was it made a great winter fan for like heat recovery, but. Uh, I knew exactly what the problem was. It was a failing capacitor. I did a previous video, which I'll have a link for if you want to watch that. I did a previous video on changing the capacitor out. So you can watch that. And I showed you the difference there. But this is just a full on test video. So I am going to do zero to high right away. But it was only going like uh, maybe uh, medium low at most on straight high. It's when you know you have a failing capacitor. Er okay, get that meter just right so you can read it. Now these do take a long time to speed up, to get up to speed because this is heavy steel blades. These are the size of gold line blades, old gold line blades like Union or even the ones made right after the Unions. Still very wide, heavy steel blades. And this is steel on steel, stamped steel motors, so. So it takes a long time to speed up, but this is what, what it's drawing. This is what this fan draws. And I'm gonna do the watts. So 70, 77, 78 watts. And a 95, that's pretty much a power factor of one right there. So we'll go with 0.71 watts, or amps, I should say, I forgot, pardon me. Okay, now this is also what I talk about when there's steel on steel with industrials. Spin down. You can have a long spin down with this. I mean, the airflow is close to gold line, but not quite, but it's pretty close. I'm gonna grab some water here while I'm at it. Drop my Gatorade and water. This.
yeah this one now i just came back from fanimation too so uh, you will be seeing those next i've just been getting into my backlog of fans i've had a couple of back-to-back -back busy weekends i was gone on a couple of trips one was fanimation the other was was to a metal club annual out in new mexico and yesterday my brother's wedding locally but still that was pretty much an all-day event still spinning down so good bearings though but yeah a lot of people don't realize that the fan have fans like this have a get a failing capacitor after a while and it's a much easier fix and would be a cheaper fix than replacing these things I mean yes granted he uh, re I, he, I asked him what he is replacing these with and he showed me the box showed me one that wasn't even opened yet it was a newer can arm which I told him that's a good choice so at least he's replacing them with something decent those can arms are still they're still decent I could say that it was like Brandon's favorite and I understand that too, so. Okay, it's about done. Okay, that was a long and good, good spin down. So I got here the decade box. And let's see what kind of uh, capacitor based wall control I could use this on. So let's see where it starts. One, two. Oh, it's not plugged in. How'd it get unplugged? Somebody unplugged it. All right, try it again. One, two, three. I know these are not known to start. I thought I saw it budge. Four. Okay aren't exactly known to start as early and you don't get a decent low till kind of in the higher higher capacitance I should say this is four and this is I'm now starting to call this disco ball slow or disco ball speed here is five now five microfarads is a standard uh, capacitor value in a lot of the controls and works on most residentials so this is still rather slow let's try six seven And let's do eight. I'm okay, so at this point I'm gonna see if an eight twelve twenty is the control that I would use on this if I used a four speed. And it's looking that way. I mean I would work with this low speed for a low speed. This is doing something. There's nine, ten. Jeez, 
so it might need to be balanced. I know medium low usually wobbles the worst. And here's 11. And I'm going to go to 12. silent so far. Yep, it's... Okay, so this is 12. Here's your medium low. This is like I call grocery store low. I've seen these commonly in like store settings on this speed here. Grocery stores, even bigger stores that have these all over the store. So here's these. Here's 13. 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, so this is where, uh, this is where I remember the current draw was with, uh, with the failing capacitor. Here's 18, 19, and here is 20. So with this fan, you still got a range of speeds going. All right. Do 21, 22, 23, 24. I know I got to points 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and I remember now maxing this out and not even coming close to uh, what what this draws on high, so you are safe with any wall control. Okay, now let's, let's check the solid state out and check on how noisy or quiet this is. See if this is a, uh, I know blender fans are really quiet to almost silent, but we'll see. Okay, that's like, I could barely hear that. I know, I notice it. Doesn't get any louder than that. So this is pretty quiet. This is Once air starts whipping, then... But of course, I say this all the time with industrials, this is the kind of control that they're put on, typically at shops and stores.
but it's pretty quiet actually. I can definitely call it bedroom quiet. Okay, but that is actually all since I've done zero to high. Didn't seem to have any, had no inrush. In fact, the current climbed. So no inrush there, decade, solid state. Yeah, that's all I have for this uh, Tat Industrial. So I'll see you next time with more fans. So keep watching and subscribing.